Demery Road is back open. A section of Demery Road near the White Bridge was closed yesterday for the better part of eight hours. Darrell Chapman with the Campbell County Sheriff's Department tells WLAF and TV 12 that all traffic was rerouted over High Knob Road. Chapman explains that 42-year-old Stacy Ann Lidman of La Follette was driving an SUV and ran off Demery Road around 1 o'clock yesterday afternoon taking out a telephone pole and a couple of trees as the SUV went over the bank and into the creek that empties into Norris Lake. Lidman, who was not injured, was the only person involved and was taken away by the Tennessee Highway Patrol and placed in the county jail. She was charged with driving under the influence and was released last night on citation. Chapman says Lidman's SUV was ripped to shreds and it took flight new body shop crew the better part of two hours using two tow trucks to pull the SUV back up to Demery Road. However, what caused Longest delay was the time it took to call in a crew to remove and replace the telephone pole. A huge fireworks show ignites Friday's Norris cleanup. You're invited to take part in all the fun from 6.45 to 8 o'clock at Cove Lake State Park. It's all free. Then on Saturday from 9 to 1, volunteers are encouraged to come out and help clean up around Norris Lake. The cleanup locations are Well Springs Public Boat Ramp, Lonish Young Park, Cove Lake Park, and Norse Dam Marina. Local sponsors include Pyro Shows and the Campbell County Chamber of Commerce. Chamber Director E.L. Morton tells WLAF that he expects a great turnout for the cleanup event. We're very excited at the Chamber to be involved. Uh, the Chamber is the county's tourism promotion agency, and so obviously the lake is uh, the biggest portion of, of what we promote, along with Royal Blue and uh, all the, the wildlife management areas. So it's very important that we get to show our community pride in taking care of the resource before the tourism season begins and uh, before we share that resource with visitors and, and also our community. So we're looking forward uh, to a lot of folks coming out and contributing to that effort. Morton also says that garbage bags and some gloves will be provided, but you may want to bring some heavy work gloves of your own. He goes on to say that this is a five-county effort to make sure our Norris Lake properties are clean and will attract tourism. Last Tuesday, March 20th, we told you about a trio that was nabbed for making meth. A week later, all charges are dismissed. Tuesday, March 27th, in General Sessions Court at Jacksboro, Judge Joe Ayers dismissed all charges against 22-year-old Joseph Fox of Jacksboro, along with 41-year-old Eugene Nealon and 42-year-old Marcia Nealon, both of La Folly. On Tuesday, March 20th, officers with the La Folly Police Department acted on a tip seized meth-making materials, and charged Fox and the Neelands. It was said in court that police did not properly go about making the arrest during the search and seizure, so in the end, the charges were dropped by Judge Ayers. However, it is possible that the state could take the case on to criminal court and go before the grand jury. It's a busy day for spring sports around the county, Campbell has baseball and softball games with the Cougars playing at Carnes. This comes on the heels of a difficult 16-2 loss at home to Halls on Wednesday. The Lady Cougar softball team hosts Cumberland Gap in a game that just started. Jellico baseball and softball tangle with the Eagles at Oakdale in District 4 matchups. Campbell High Tennis takes on Carnes at the West Hills Courts in Knoxville. Listen for the Cougar baseball game with Fulton on Friday over 1450 WLAF Radio and here on 1450 WLAF.com. David Graham's broadcast time is 6 o'clock tomorrow evening.
and the Fincastle United Methodist Church will be hosting a meal this evening at the church beginning at 6 o'clock, and you're invited. That's our news for today. Stay tuned next for the report from the Sheriff's Department. Now we take a look at the report from the Campbell County Sheriff's Department. Eleven people have been booked into the Campbell County Jail in the past 24 hours. They are Charles Vincent Chapman, 24, of Knox Hollow Road, La Follette, for possession of drug paraphernalia. 26-year-old Jody Ann Farmer of Cave Springs Road, La Follette, for DUI, driving while suspended, possession of drug paraphernalia, violation of the seat belt law, failure to maintain control of a vehicle, and reckless endangerment. Kenneth Joe Henderson, 49, of East Elm Street, La Follette, for resisting arrest. 30-year-old Earl Brandon Johnson of Clear Lake Drive in Jacksboro for trespassing. Holly Marie Kendred, 38, of West First Street, La Follette, on a capious bench warrant. 40-year-old Charles Cecil King of South Main Street in Jellicoe for public intoxication, criminal trespassing, retaliation for past action, and on a capious bench warrant. Stacy Ann Lidman, 42, of Fox Lake Lane in La Follette for DUI, possession of drug paraphernalia, violation of seatbelt law, reckless endangerment, and failure to maintain control of a vehicle. 55-year-old Vivian L. McDearman of Jacksboro School Road for assault and disorderly conduct. Angel Mary Ramsey, 28, of Robin Road, La Follette for aggravated assault. 24-year-old Thomas Colin Reese of South Highway 25W, La Follette for violation of probation. And last on the report today, Terry Lee Shoops, 35, of Midway Circle in Jacksboro, for violation of parole, possession of a Schedule IV controlled substance, possession of a Schedule II controlled substance, possession of drug paraphernalia, and destruction of evidence. And we thank you for joining us this evening. We invite you to join us again tomorrow. We'll be back with the Friday end of the week edition of the news. Come tomorrow evening about the same time. Good Thursday evening, everybody. Welcome into your birthdays and anniversaries brought to you by Eastside Pizza and Deli. And we here at WLAF. So I'll bring a birthday today. Miss Joy Riggs starting off our list today. She turned 74 years young today. Andrew Fowler uh, and Joyce Miller celebrating a birthday. Casey Walden turned 33 years old. Shannon Lawson celebrating a birthday. Andrew Hamblin turned 21. Got a belated birthday back from Sunday. Bradley and Jeremy Evans celebrated 11 years old. Got another belated birthday here. Uh, back from yesterday, Lucas Klotfelter turned 14. So happy birthday to all of you. Got a couple anniversaries here. Jim and Margie Robbins celebrated 48 years today. Got a, bl a belated anniversary from Wednesday. Lonnie and, L Lonnie and Leslie Johnson celebrated seven years together. And our own Bill and Margaret Waddell celebrating a anniversary today. So congratulations to all of you. You're all qualified for tomorrow's drawing for East Side Pizza and Deli's two free dinners. Uh, two free dinners for the birthday side and anniversary side. We'll be having that drawing tomorrow to see who those winners are. If your birthday or anniversary are this week, you need to hurry up and get it in to me before early tomorrow morning. I call them 562-1450, 566-1450, 562-3557. 562 you can email it to WLAF at bellsouth.net, or you can fax it in to 562-5764, and that gets you qualified for a chance at winning those two free dinners from East Side Pizza and Deli. And that does it for our birthdays and anniversaries for this Thursday. We'll see you back here tomorrow for that drawing. Stay tuned. Your news continues. <laughs>